Hello, folks. Welcome, welcome. The show is going to just be really a monthly show where I try to collect some of the creepy things I found online and I'll throw it into like a clip show for you guys. You know, if you guys have any feedback, thoughts, you know, whatever you want to throw in there, or if you have a scary story or something creepy you want to throw at me, leave in the comments below or, you know, feel free to follow me on any of the socials linked as well in the description of my channel up top there. Let's get into today's show and we will We'll kind of see where this uh, series takes us. To begin, I'm going to introduce you to somebody named Dougie Corrado. I came across the story of his on TikTok and I was sucked in. I was so invested. I wanted to learn more. I wanted to hear more of the story. And it is because he's such a good storyteller. So I am going to introduce you to him by playing part one of the Skinwalker Ranch story. And if you find yourself fascinated with him as well and you're enjoying his storytelling, do go check out his TikTok. But check out his YouTube as he has the full stories on his YouTube. This Skinwalker Ranch story is quite long, so I'm not going to put the whole thing in this video, but it is one of the most intense stories that I've heard about Skinwalker Ranch. He says on his YouTube channel that he retells real stories, so who knows for sure. But I found the story utterly fascinating, so I wanted to introduce you all to him. So let's get into it guys don't go to skinwalker ranch it was the worst mistake of my life that place is so much worse than they say it is it's not a tourist attraction i'll just i'm just gonna tell you what happened i happened to be in arizona last month and i had a layover flight in utah for like a full day before i got to come back home and one of my best friends happened to be in utah doing interviews for his residency so we happened to be in the state at the same time and we thought i mean like when's the next time we're going to be here what's a fun thing we could do here we didn't really know what to do and we're like oh you know it'd be a fun bit if we went to go check out skinwalker ranch it would be funny it'd be cool and we weren't really there to look at skinwalker ranch i didn't think anything of skinwalker ranch I I've seen that History Channel show. It looks like a bunch of quacks. It's, it looks silly. We went there for fun because we know there's military bases there and we just wanted, we were poking around. Oh, maybe we'll see a B-2 stealth bomber fly overhead or like some F-22s. We know that there's like Hill Air Force Base over there. We were there to have fun, maybe see some military stuff. We really weren't there so much for Skinwalker Ranch. We just wanted to pull up, take a picture, then maybe go somewhere else. Just enjoy Utah for what it was. But when we pulled up there, you know, initially the place doesn't look like anything. Anything. It's mundane. It's dull. Everything's the same color. They don't really tell you how to get to Skinwalker Ranch on the map, but realistically, there's so many like private property trespassing signs. They basically have a breadcrumb trail that's like leading you to the front gate. Like we knew, we knew we were close when we started seeing all of these signs that eventually led to this front gate. So we pull our car over, about like maybe like an eighth of a mile past the front gate, throw on the hazards, and we just are walking the line of the front gate, like the line of the gate to the front gate. The only weird thing that we saw which in hindsight was a bit weird was there was like posts outside of the gates that were like wrapped in animal skins and like looked like animal intestines but they were just like dried out by the sun they seemed man-made they seemed like they were there to make the lore feel like actually spooky but for us we're just like that's just kind of gross whatever we walk past them and we get to the front gate and the front gate has like an iconic kind of look to it and we're like all right let's just grab a pic so we could say like look we we're asking walk ranch together and then we're gonna drive somewhere else and maybe go on a hike or like look for some b2 stealth bombers in the sky whatever boys stuff we're like all right let's take this pic and i put my water bottle on the floor and i put my phone up and then i do that little timer thing on your phone i don't know why i put it for like 10 seconds just because i feel like i needed time to backpedal and get into a good pose with my friend but this is where it gets really weird like so i put on that 10 second timer i backpedal you know we're a little bit worried that maybe somebody's going to come out and scold us but we weren't really thinking about cars driving by but as i hit this timer i'm backpedaling there's a car coming from the left to the right. We're like, all right, let's just hope it drives by. Let's just get this pick. Let's get out of here. We're not really trying to ruffle any feathers. We know people work here. Like we're being annoying tourists, but we're not trying, we're, like we'll leave, you know? Right as this car pulls up, this timer's like at like seven seconds, six seconds, and a black Chevy Tahoe pulls up to like right in front of my phone. Of course, as we're taking a picture here, big ass black car filled with men in suits but and immediately they're just like you're trespassing you can't be here you could tell that they deal with this all the time and me and my friend we just have this timer we're like 
let's just wait a second. Let's let this three seconds count down. Let's get this picture. And I give them the most like, hold on, just give us one second. Clearly we're taking a picture. This is, this is where it gets, everything gets weird and I can't explain it. And I'm trying to deal with it. And I'm trying to rationalize it to myself and make sense of it. Once the flash went off, like the timer went off, for my phone and for the picture, it felt like we entered a soundproof room. Like all of the wind and the sounds of like crackling leaves and just like the sounds of nature and like desert and ranch, it felt like we just entered a soundproof room like somebody plucked the sound away from us. I don't know if any of you guys have experienced this. Sometimes like some heightened level of cortisol, maybe this happens where it kind of feels like you get super hyper aware and like your eyes almost like crank up a little bit, like the saturation cranked up a little bit and the vibrant it just everything seemed like it got a little bit more color and a little bit sharper and it really freaked me out that i couldn't hear and all my vision seemed to be tweaked a little bit i didn't know if i was the only one feeling it i don't know if i was having an anxiety attack or a panic attack and i look at my friend sam and i could see that he's in shock too like he's he's feeling it too and then he's looking at the other guys and then i look at the dudes that had just pulled up and they're feeling it too they're looking at us like what is happening right now what what is going on so before it was like a shoe get off our property thing like you annoying tourists and now we're sitting in a situation where we're looking at these guys and they're looking at us like are you feeling this the same way we're feeling this and then i see their eyes shoot over to the gate and sam nudges me and i turn everything is still just so heightened and so weird and i look inside of this gate onto onto the ranch and there's this like glowing blue orb that's the only way i could explain it there's just this glowing blue orb and it doesn't have any imperfections and it's just you can't tell what part is the front and the back and it's just floating about eye level inside of the gate it, it had no indications of what was the front of the back but i could almost tell by it's like slight movements that it was like looking at the other guys and then it like you know, almost mechanical and then i could tell it was looking at us and i'm just looking at this thing floating there was about the size of a beach ball but everything in me it was like it pulled fear from my heart every part of my being was scared i didn't know what i was looking at it looked so unnatural and so so foreign from anything i've ever seen it moved like nothing and then it just kind of rattled and just shot up into the sky if you blinked you wouldn't have seen it shoot up it it just like a projectile but it wasn't like a projectile it wasn't like a rocket it almost zipped like you know the difference between like a muscle car or like a, a sports car and then like a tesla that just zips and makes no sound it just shot up into the sky it zipped and then it just kind of made an arching pattern and just kind of disappeared it was one of those experiences that to be honest i would never have said anything about it me, me and Sam probably just been like, that was weird. Blue Orb, Skinwalker Ranch, that was sick. Let's go home, whatever. But it was the fact that these other guys were with us that made this an issue because we look back at them. I'm kind of freaking out. I'm like, if it was just me and Sam, we're, we're just getting in the car. We're leaving. These guys are celebrating. They're celebrating like that was the best thing that ever happened to them. They were just acting like serious, get off our property, dead serious businessmen or whatever they are. And now they're like jumping around and cheering and celebrating. And we don't know how to react to this. These are grown men acting like that situation was amazing. I just wait until they start to engage with us. And just one of the dudes is like, he comes us up to us with the weirdest energy, just saying things like that was amazing, wasn't it? That was awesome. Uh, we knew we knew activity happened when newcomers came, but we've never seen anything like that. They never they never let us come that close. And he's like talking to us as if that experience that we just had was some type of blessing. And then he starts like pressing us like, you saw it too, like, like, please like come in, like give us testimony. And he's like trying to get us to come with him, to give him testimony about what just happened. And I'm, I'm just weirded out by this guy in general. Sam came to a different conclusion than I did because Sam replied before I did. He just basically said, and I wasn't expecting him to come from this angle whatsoever. Sam goes, I want to keep our country's secrets secrets, whatever you need us to sign, whatever we need to do for us to go home. I want our country's secrets to say st to stay safe. Tell us what we need to do. He thinks that these dudes are military. And I'm like, that actually kind of makes sense. And what we just saw might have been military grade equipment that we were not supposed to see, but we saw it. And these dudes are playing buddy buddy, trying to get us to come with them because they're gonna, who knows? But Sam is basically offering, like, we didn't see anything. Whatever you need us to sign to keep our country's secrets a secret, we're willing to do so as long as we could leave. But this dude is just, he is just, keeps making it seem 
like he's punk. He's absolutely reassuring us that he's just a scientist. His team is all scientists. They're just on this ranch to do research. And it gets to the point where he's so eccentric and he's so just excited about it and reassuring that he's not military and what we saw has nothing to do with the military that we kind of calm down. Even though what we just saw was so bizarre and a story you probably wouldn't tell anybody without looking like an absolute weirdo, this guy convinced us that what we saw was pretty cool in the moment and he was doing research on the ranch and that this would be really important for us to come and just give our eyewitness testimony for what they were doing. Then he started offering us things like, just come on, I'll give you a tour of the ranch. You guys could like pop around yourselves. We'll give you a golf cart. He was so overly friendly that in that moment, when you kind of feel like you're half in trouble, while you just experienced something that was so bizarre that like, you just don't know what to think or believe, you're kind of in a malleable state, like people could influence you. And he had been here, he, he told us that he lived there and like he was always studying there. And then that was the most amazing thing he'd seen. And he just wanted us to come on to give a testimony we could have a tour and we could leave. Everything in me wishes I didn't get into that Tahoe and go onto that ranch. Once I closed that door, he seemed so friendly, but it just got weird once we were in the car. It, he was just going over what happened in such a theatrical way as if he was like rehearsing the story that just happened to us right then, as if he was rehearsing it to tell other people and he was like kind of exaggerating it already. And he just seemed a little bit off and I wish we had gotten out of the car before that gate closed because once that gate closed, he just looked back. I'll never forget this. This dude just said something along the lines of, if I were you guys, I would never leave. And this man meant it because he actively tried to not let us leave. So what did you think of that story? Do you find yourself really invested as well? Do you think it's true? Do you think it's maybe just a creepypasta? Leave your comments below and let me know. All right, this clip is actually really good. I found this one and then we actually came across it. I believe we were watching Nukes in our Watch Together episodes. So you'll see that come into one of our Watch Together episodes. Actually, I think it was Bizarre Bub. This is a new EMT and he's driving his ambulance. He sees something in his mirror and behind him that scares the crap out of him so much. They stop the ambulance, both him and his partner get out. And this is them trying to rationalize or figure out what to do because they're too scared to go back into their ambulance. And this is posted by, um, I'm not sure how to say it as a name. I'm just gonna spell it out. Uh, G-A-P-R-I-B-F-O-N-D-E. And I will link to them as well below. And this was posted July 1st, so it's pretty recent. So let's take a look at the clip. I'm not sure how to, um how to talk about this, but well, first off, I've been an EMT just for a little bit in. Like, I ain't never experienced nothing like this. So, so as we driving back to base, I swear I seen a face in the rear view mirror. Like, said something she can I need to turn this engine off though, cause like we're gonna be stranded out here. Yeah, yeah. Seems possible. Oh, shit. Hey, thank you. I'm not trying to go back here. Just...
I don't know if you see it, but can can y'all see that back door? Like it, just, like it just flew open. Like can oh, oh. nah, no, what the? What was that? Can y'all see it? Oh, no, that, nah. What is interesting about this video is this is the only video on his TikTok account. He just made a TikTok account just to post this. Can you, so what he's can actually you, pointing out here is the thump that he heard was one of the cabinets in the back flew open. And that was a thump that we heard when the phone was inside the ambulance. And that's what he's trying to point out here. Uh, his finger, unfortunately, makes the camera blurred. I don't think he realizes that at, at the time, but... Um, but yeah, so that that's sort of what he's pointing at and then stuff starts flying around the ambulance. I see that back door like it just, Like it just flew open like Can you oh. Nah, what the f What was that? Can you see it? Nah. Anyway, a very fascinating clip. This one, I will say, I spent some time rewatching it a few times over. I found it really fascinating. All right, the next clip I'm going to show you, it's from MLB2231 on TikTok. I'll link to his stuff below as well. This is just a fun little ARG, and it's kind of about like the world without people. Uh, so I'm just going to play you the, sort of like the intro video to it. Definitely go check out the rest of it. I watched through a lot of it. There, He introduces a creepy creature at one point, but doesn't really like finish the rest of the story, unfortunately. Uh, but, you know, it's a fun little to watch if you're wanting to watch a little bit of a ARG about you know no people left in the world so let's uh let's take a watch So, what would you do in a world without people? It's an interesting story, and I always love post-apocalyptic stories. So I just thought you all might get a kick out of it. All right, this video here is from the Hamley family. It's kind of interesting. They seem to have like a ghost or something in the kitchen that was trying to 
help her make lunch for her kids. Uh, so let's let's check this one out. Just <laughs> it kind of sounds like her kid says the man or something like that. Oh, that one's a little bit of an odd one. All right, this video here is from Nikki Viana, and she captures some strange stuff that a ghost or a poltergeist or something seems to be doing to the baby's ca uh, crib. So check out the crib there. I'll just play one other video. Uh, she's got a bunch of them actually on her page of different ghost activity that's happening in this house. Uh, this one was from like June. I uh, don't see any from July yet, uh, but we'll take a look here. creepy what would you do if you lived in a house where a ghost was doing that kind of stuff to you all right this one here is from win nmc picks and there's a lot going on in it too so let's take a listen i'm home alone i'm hearing my own voice upstairs the door won't stop knocking and there's nobody there door keeps banging. I thought I was hearing my voice. I, uh, nobody's there. Go away! Open it. Ooh, that was right over my shoulder. Who's... Uh, I'm, I'm giving you one chance to leave. I know what you're doing. Stop. It's not scaring me. It's not scaring anybody else. You need to leave now. Yeah. 
Yeah, I got a feeling you're in this room, aren't you? Are you in here? Uh, this again. Okay. All right. If you're gonna play these games all night, I'm not gonna play. I'm not doing this. And now I hear the bathroom water on. Good grief. Get out. Now this guy has been dealing with this haunting for a while. I've seen a lot of his clips show up on a lot of different videos. This is extremely creepy, but uh, tell me, what do you think about this one? We have watched a lot of this guy's house and his different haunting videos on a number of the watch togethers and a couple people in the shorts comments have mentioned that they would love to see a compilation of everything in his house so i think next month i might end up doing that where our monthly video will be a compilation of this guy's house his story and if i can try to like piece together a chronological profile of the haunting try my best to see what i can do but uh he has some pretty interesting videos to say the least All right, uh, this is a glitch in the matrix video. It's very interesting. Uh, this one originally posted by Adriana, but I found it through Auntie Matrix's channel on TikTok. I'll link both of them below. In this one, her mom goes to the hospital for like a week and when she comes back, there's something wrong. All right, so a lot of people from the comments wanted to know my story about the glitch in the matrix my experience and uh, I wasn't too sure to make this video because I never told this story to anyone first of all people might say I'm crazy and second of all they might say that I made it up which even if I wanted to I couldn't make this up so here it goes when I was seven years old I remember my mum had to go to hospital for an operation it had something to do with under her armpit and with her left breast I'm not really sure what it was she still has the scar to this day and I remember I had to stay with my grandma from my mum's side for a couple of days and then from my dad's side grandma for a couple of days and whenever my dad would come and visit for her and bring me like change of clothes I would beg him to come see mum but he told me you know it's not a place for kids she's really sick now so it was uh, I was really upset for like a week because I didn't see my mum and I was used to her. That time I was the only child. This was before my siblings were all born. And before my mum left the hospital, she always had a long slim face. She had long black hair. And the main thing, which is important to this story, she was taller than my dad. And I know this for a fact, because I remember my auntie used to make you know funny comments about it i remember when i was younger i used to compare my size to my like my mum and dad and my mum would say things like well i'm taller than both of you so i know for a fact that she was taller than my dad uh, i think week after she came back from hospital i was at my grandma's place i remember it like it was yesterday she came back and she brought me this chocolate phone it was like a phone but a chocolate phone when she when she came up to me i looked at her and i was in shock and i didn't know what to say or who to say it to or if i'm crazy she did not look like my mom she had a round face she had short black hair and she she was actually smaller than my dog. I was in, uh, even now when I think about it, I'm still in shock to be honest. And yeah, I was like really shy of her or like scared of her. You know, like when a child meets someone for the first time, that was literally how I was acting towards my mom at seven years old after only not seeing her for a week. And my dad and my grandma was like, come on, go to your mom. You know, you haven't seen her in a long time. What's wrong with you? And uh, yeah, I didn't want to go to her. And for the, after a few days after, I asked my mum, how come you, you are not tall anymore than that? And she looked at me and she laughed. She said, well, I was never tall, taller than your dad. And they started making fun of me. 
and they start saying like things oh imagine if she would actually be taller than him and this made me really angry because i didn't know what's going on and there was also little changes in uh, it wasn't just visual it was her personality as well before she went to the hospital i remember my mom being really um, really loving especially because i was the only child so i was like their baby and after she came back she was really cold towards me she wasn't the same she didn't just hook me throughout the day or kiss me she would be really cold it never changed after that you know nothing changed after that it's i just got used to it but i still think about it to this day like if i made it all up or if it really happened it's a very interesting story and i did watch through some of her other tiktoks and i don't know i think this one is actually genuine i don't know if it's a glitch in the matrix or something else that maybe it's explainable by psychology i'm not sure it's very interesting but let me know what do you think what do you guys think about glitch in the matrix videos um i find them very intriguing All right, this one is on the channel StanYM22. I don't know if you guys have like paid attention at all in the news. It's been going for like years, I think, these like mirror monoliths that are showing up everywhere. And like some people have claimed that they're, they've taken responsibility for them and that they're an art project and whatever. Um, I, I wouldn't say there's anything like supernatural about it, but it's like, kind of like an ARG playing out over years with these like monoliths being put up. But there's one that showed up in Australia with symbols on it. And this is just like a really quick summary of what's going on with the symbols. So I thought I'd throw this one in here. I do find this very interesting to see the amount of work and effort that people have put into these monoliths for this. Uh, but let's take a listen. Remember that mysterious monolith that appeared in Australia a couple days ago? Well, someone's finally decoded it. A lot of people have suggested that it was related to an anime called One Piece, or a reference to the villain from this short story. But the real answer is even weirder. A cryptography student decided to draw all of these symbols out. At first, it kind of just looks like gibberish, but if you line up all of these bars, you start to see some symbols repeat themselves, and that's a good indication that these symbols are code for something in English. The student then assigned all the symbols a letter and put it into a cryptogram solver. Went through all 47 combinations for this group of letters and immediately you start seeing that these symbols most likely represent numbers. And sure enough, if you try to match each group of letters to a certain number, you end up with this. What it leads to or who put it there is still a mystery. After a cryptography student decoded all of these weird symbols, a couple of people have suggested that they were coordinates. But if you search these coordinates up, they just lead to somewhere in the middle of the Indian Ocean. However, our fellow Australians have pointed out that it could be a phone number. And when you call this number, it takes you to someone's voicemail, where it then plays this. Sorry, our offices are busy. Please visit the monolith.site. If you do exactly as the voicemail says, it takes you to this website. As of right now, nobody seems to have completely cracked the puzzle, and it continues to remain a complete mystery. So it's a really cool mystery and I guess we'll have to keep an eye out and see what is the next steps of the mystery that are going to get solved. But uh, for now, pretty cool, really interesting. So this is from a channel, Steve Spirits. He tends to capture a lot of spirit voices uh, in his house. He, there's quite a bit of activity. It's interesting, a lot of the stuff that he has on his page. Um, in this video here, the spirits seem to be asking if he's a spirit. So like, it's, it's, it's interesting kind of footage that he's got here. Very intriguing. Let's take a listen. So do spirits think we're the spirits? This is the second time now I've heard a spirit say this. And here's another video that he captured where the spirits seem to be talking about their day. So I'll play this one for you too. This is interesting. Sometimes I wonder if the spirits even know I'm there. But uh, definitely go check out his page. He's got a bunch of other videos too of things that he's captured. Intriguing to say the least.
All right, uh, this one, a very creepy sound gets captured in the woods. It could be an animal, but it sounds so strange. And I don't know, I've never heard a sound like it before. It was reposted on a page, uh, Sarah Bear, but it doesn't really seem to link back to the original fellow who recorded this, but let's take a listen. Well, there's certainly no shortage of the pheasant back mushrooms out here. You can see, here's one. And then one over here, they look really nice. And then um, just looking around here in the distance, that tree has a bunch. And then this log over here has a bunch. Take a walk over there. These look pretty big. Yeah, this that one is down there it's got to be about 12 inches across and this one looks like it has a bite out of it <laughs> and this one and uh, there's one over here looks like it's holding some water huh? I think it's time to go What would you do if you heard a noise like that in the woods? At the very least, if it's an animal, it could be like something dangerous, but super creepy for sure. This next video, TikTok name is Joker. I'll link him as well. It's a really odd video. He seems to be arriving into the back rooms through the elevator, I believe in his condo here. So it's very weird and he doesn't post any other ghost like paranormal stuff. He does like a bunch of Joker impressions that are pretty good, but I didn't see a whole lot of paranormal stuff on his account. So it's very intriguing. Let's take a watch. I don't know what's going on with this elevator. Uh, well, this is weird. Uh, we hit floor two. It took us to floor one. This one. Floor four. It took us to floor four. Now we're on floor. Somebody get these fucking doors open, bro. What is happening? No, no, no. I'm actually kind of tweaking. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm getting scared, bro. I'm not going to lie, bro. Hang on. Hang on. What's happening? I just took half an out of one. I'm scared. Bro. I'm scared. Bro, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Bro, I'm claustrophobic if this fucking elevator doesn't let us out. Bro, what is happening? I will open these. I'll pry these fucking doors open, bro. Get me out of here. Okay, 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 hang on. Now, let's, let's try to go back to the parking garage. What the fuck? Come here. All right. Okay, we're in. Dude, this is literally not cool. Okay. I think this one takes us to the parking garage, right? So we'll go boom. Parking garage. Okay. Bro, what the fuck was that? They almost didn't let us out. That was good. All right. This, now, this actually kind of does feel weird. Like, like video aside, bro. Weird. No, hang on. I'm hang on. Hang on. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. wait. It's stopping. It's stopping. What the? F what? Okay, this is the park parking garage. Oh no. Yo, what the? F is this the back, dude? This is back. Get me out of here. Get me the f out. Get me the f out of here, bro. Bro, 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 bro. What the f was that? What the f was that? That was not the parking garage. What the f was that? Let me see my service works. Why is it on two? I didn't, uh, dude, I, why is it on three? Bro, bro, I didn't even hit a, it's on four. I didn't, bro, I didn't hit a button. What is going on, bro? Oh, this is weird. Let's, I don't know what to do, bro. I'm kind of scared of like a lot. I'm kind of new. What did you guys think that was? Do you think he was stuck in the back rooms? It was very fascinating and odd to say the least. Okay, this is just a really quick clip. Uh, I always find dolls quite creepy, so throwing it in here for you guys. It is by Cupid.dollies on TikTok. Clips like that make my skin crawl. 
Okay, this video, I don't necessarily know if there's something paranormal or anything at the bottom of this uh, big pipe. It's creepy, but I found the video really fascinating that they went through the effort and trying to figure out what was down there, but it kind of seems like something might be down there. Maybe it's an animal, but it's pretty creepy. This is by Action Adventure Twins over on TikTok, and I will link as well to their stuff uh, down below. Holy crap, guys, check this out. We're back at the mystery pipe and uh it opens up down there there's something down there we hiked out here it's been like three hours of a hike three and a half hours in the middle of nowhere there's another pipe bro what i, don't know why I, I know right it's piping it i don't think we can really show something down that dude the mystery deepens we hear water down there too there's like a whole river down there or something maybe it's a cave but we think it's an abandoned mine because we see a metal pipe down there. So unless the end of this casing just fell off, we got a lot of comments that said maybe this is like a well casing or something. Maybe that just fell off down there. But I don't know. Let's uh, we got a brighter flashlight. Let's see what we can see. All right, let's send it. In.
got it. Yeah. I think it's still filming. Okay, the biggest problem is we didn't know when it was at the bottom because uh, the string is so heavy that you just can't even tell if this thing hit the bottom or not. So we don't know if we were going slow enough when it actually uh, busts out into that chamber, but we're going to watch the footage now. So what did you all think about that pipe? What do you think is down there? First, it kind of sounds like there's maybe a bear sleeping, but then it sounds like there's something walking around and moving around. I have no idea what's down there, but I can't wait to see if they do some more exploring if they find a way into that cave. All right, this next one is from Miss underscore McKay. She's in Indonesia, I believe it is, but she's been having someone knocking at her door in the middle of the night and it's been really creepy and there's been screams and stuff going on so this is like something has been kind of stalking slash annoying her at night but it's a, it's a little creepy uh it, it might not be a ghost might not be paranormal but even if this is just like a person who's doing this it's really weird and it would creep me out so much that i probably would just consider moving to be honest uh let's take a look at the video Apparently the girl screaming means please open it is what someone translated. So this is another one of her videos where she actually decides to open the door. I don't know why she opened the door. I would never open the door. I'd be too scared that it would just be a human even on the other side that might attack me. But let's take a look. It's, uh, it's pretty creepy. Tell me, what do you think? Would you open the door? This next clip, it was re-uploaded by ScareBear Zero. I think the original uploader is Cryptid Enthusiast based on kind of what he tagged here, I believe. But again, this is another Appalachian Mountains. We all know the Appalachian can be super scary. There's a lot of stories, paranormal and normal, but not really normal, that come from these woods. So it's a pretty crazy area to live by. Uh, this is a ring door camera that picks up something, I guess, coming from the woods.
What do you think about that video? Clearly looks like a person, but the way they're dressed and how they're acting with Appalachian Woods nearby, I'm sure it's something odd or nefarious. All right, that was the episode for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Again, any feedback, please leave a comment below. If you liked it, hit like. If you didn't like it, I guess hit, hit not like. I don't know. Uh, but also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It does help out a lot. It helps me grow the channel and create more and more content as well. So please don't forget to subscribe if you've been enjoying watching all our content. For today, signing off. It's nice seeing y'all again. Thank you for stopping by and watching some some spooky clips with me.